Wireless with Solaris? Why? What do you? Why would we want to do that? Uh, I'm Dave Stewart. I'm uh, engineering manager at Intel, part of the Open Source Technology Center, working to make Intel architecture the best choice for running Open Solaris. And uh, you know, I get that question a lot. I mean, as Solaris has this tremendous reputation as a server operating system. Why would we really care about doing, you know, running it on a on a laptop? And you know, why would we need wireless otherwise? Well, you know, in fact, as a developer, uh, you know, if I only only had servers to develop code on, that would be pretty darn awkward. I mean, I can think about if I you know, want to sit today in a park or on my deck or, or even travel, go on an airplane, I'd like to be able to go and develop you know, code while I'm doing that. So great laptop support is kind of you know, nice for developers to be able to, to work on. And if you're going to have people you know, work on a laptop, you're really going to have to have good wireless support too. So fortunately, Intel, uh, we make uh, great wireless uh, hardware products. And so you know, we've been actually putting quite a bit of effort on the area of wireless drivers with our uh, products to really uh, make these great development environments so that you can develop your, your code that may end up on a server, but you know, develop it in that laptop environment. So um, I'd like to tell you a few things about this so you get an idea about it. You know, wireless, you know, there's, there's, there is sort of this you know, big alphabet soup for 802.11, you know, A, B, G, N, et cetera. Um, B and G, of course, are the most popular that you find in typically your, your coffee shops, your hot spots, even parks and places like that. Um, these uh, have, uh, you know, uh, good performance and they're pretty darn universal. Uh, a is a standard that has a higher uh, data rate but typically has a, uh, a shorter range than uh, B and G. And then uh, 802.11n is the newest that has a, a theoretical, that's why I have the star there, theoretical uh, speed of 540 megabits per second. That's nearly a gigabit per second, which or that's half a gigabit, I guess, but that's theoretical. So, you know, obviously your mileage will vary. The other feature, how it gets there, of course, 802.11n, um, is what's uh, this MIMO feature, which is multiple input, multiple output. So it actually has um, different uh, frequency channels that it can talk on simultaneously. And, and that's a great feature for 802.11n. Well, Intel has uh, our current product, the, uh, what we call the uh, uh, great name, the 4965, which is a part of our uh, Intel Centrino mobile technology uh, system. So when you get a laptop that says Centrino, that's part of the Intel Centrino mobile technology. I mean, this is really using this uh, 4965, and uh, you know that's uh, has supports A, B, G, and N, and uh, you know this whole alphabet soup here. Uh, our our driver support is actually working very well with uh, B and G, and uh, later after the initial release, we supported A, and then uh, we're working on in 2008 um, to get N support in. In there as well. It's quite a bit of uh, community effort involved to, to get end support working. And so um, the other feature that we added here is what's called ad hoc support. This is kind of cool because you're actually able to uh, connect up with your friend's laptop, or maybe you have some people in a conference room or in a small room setting, you can actually set up a little local area network in this ad hoc mode. And so we support that in our driver as well. Now, the next thing that's coming in 2008 is the new part, which is its code name, uh, Shirley Peak. And uh, this one is, uh, you know, same standard support, but it actually has. Uh, one of the things it has is uh, more channels for uh, MIMO. So in fact, uh, more inputs and outputs, you'll actually be able to have uh, you know, even higher uh, 802.11n support than the 4965. Um, now, how can you take advantage of this? I mean, given that this is open source, we'd really love you to you know, go to opensourcewireless.org. This is a website that we've set up to uh, help you get the resources you need, whether it's code or source code or, or frequently, frequently asked questions or uh, access to projects. Also, with opensolaris.org, we'd love you to go to opensolaris.org and download the latest Open Solaris release. Try it out on your laptop, your Intel Centrino-based laptop. We'd love you to you know, give us feedback on that. Um, go look at the drivers and the work that we've done there and uh, help us make it better. There's actually a laptop community that you can join and ask questions and get answers and get help. And uh, this is a great environment for developing code in. Uh, you know, if you're, you're like me, you have a laptop that uh, maybe has a few stickers on it that, um, you know, you want to be able to connect that thing up to the, to the internet and be able to develop your code. Uh, we like to be able to help you get there to make sure this is a fantastic environment uh, with Intel uh, Centrino-based laptops.